Well, I tell you what, I'm braving a recipe that I've been too scared to brave, and it's a souffle recipe. And thank goodness, Caitlin Williams, food editor of Top Billing Magazine, is here with me. I saw the recipe in the latest Top Billing Magazine, the one with uh, Nolene and Leanne Manis on the cover. I saw the recipe, and you know what I'm like? I don't try it if I, I'm not comfortable with it. So, Caitlin's here this morning. Good morning. Yeah. Welcome to Expresso. Good morning. But, you know, people are so scared of souffles, and they're really, they're really not that difficult to make. If you follow the recipe, if you follow the instructions, everything will be fine. Okay, Promise. so what ingredients do we need? And I know you can get it in your latest Top Billing magazine if you'd like to try this recipe. Yeah, so what we're going to start with is the base, mm -hmm. um, which is, and you can do this for me, Liesl. Um, okay, let me this move This is around. just passion fruit pulp um, that we're going to heat um, with some sugar, pasta sugar, uh, some lemon, oh, sorry, the lemon juice is for the meringue. Okay. Uh, there's a corn flour, and you're going to just stir that. Just stir. And we're going to heat it until it's nice and translucent and the corn flour is cooked out, because that's what's going to hold your souffle together. Okay. So you can get, carry on cooking that. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to get on with the, the meringue, which, you know, obviously makes the, the souffle nice and light Which and is the fluffy. one that worries me. Yes. <laughs> Why are people so scared? I mean, I'm scared that it doesn't rise. Well, you know, if you if you beat the meringue properly to the correct stage, then you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay. And this recipe is virtually flop proof. The ones How many that did are, you go through before you made a flop proof it's one? The first time right. And the ones that are in the oven right now, I made yesterday. So that's what's so wonderful about the recipes. It can sit in the fridge overnight. You can even freeze them before your guests arrive. Pop them in the oven, five minutes, they're done. Okay, so, so you beat the eggs. So how long do you beat the eggs? Okay, so what we're going to do is going to be a bit noisy. Yeah. Um, but don't worry, we'll shout over the noise. <laughs> okay, so it's going to, we want it nice and stiff so it holds its shape. Yeah. Um, so those are just the egg whites that are yeah, holding Yeah, and obviously uh, you've got to make sure that everything, your bowls, your beaters, are all completely grease-free. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want any fat around it because that's going to stop it from foaming. So you, you want it nice and stiff, and what happens in the oven is that the air is going to expand, and that's what makes it rise. Wow. Have you ever made souffle at home? Because this is a first for me. I'd love to hear about your souffle stories. Uh, so if you've had a flop or you've had something fun happening in the kitchen when it comes to souffle, please let us know. Express our morning show, SABC3 on Facebook. And you can even call in 083-913-3728. And dads or boyfriends, guys, if you're watching, you could make this this morning for that special lady. In yeah. your life, eh? And as I said to you before, a souffle is like a lady. It's delicate, but it's actually stronger than people think. No, say that again, but let me first say, you didn't say that to me. You tweeted that to me <laughs> yesterday. Yes. Your Twitter name is at Caitlin Williams. Williams. You were tweeting yes. to me at Liesl V on Twitter. Yes. And say it again, souffle is like... It's like a lady. It's delicate, but it's stronger than people think. Love that say. So if you just pass me that one, that is basically what you've just made there. Mm -hmm. Can I switch this one off? The, yeah, you can switch that off. And that is now cool, because obviously if you fold hot egg, um, cold egg whites into a hot mixture, mm. it's going to cook, you're going to get scrambled eggs, it's just going to yep. collapse, it'll be a mess. So, you do? So there we go. We, this base, so you, you wait till it cools. Yeah, and you okay. can make a base ahead of time as well. We're going to fold the egg white into the base, but if you can just leave that for a second sure. and do the molds for me, that'd be great. I like cooking with you. You let me do lots of interesting things here. <laughs> Okay, so, so just for the icing? The, no, no, the caster sugar. The so caster. you're going to brush it with butter first okay. and then just line it with caster sugar and that gives the souffle something to climb to climb up, you know, because it's very light, it's very fluffy, it needs mm. something to cling to. So that's what that's going to do. Um, and then I'm going to fold this in. So you're going to take just a third of your mixture and you're just going to stir it in just to lighten because the base is quite heavy and you just want to make it so that the rest of the, the meringue is very easy to, to stir into and it, but it's doesn't break all the air bubbles. And How much do I put in here? Is that's that about perfect, fine? perfect, perfect. Um, and you're going to use a metal spoon for this. The reason is, is that it's got sharp edges. If you was, use a wooden spoon, you're going to knock all the air out that you've just created. So we're going to just Handy fold this in. Handy tips Caitlin. Okay, and you're going to use gentle, really light, like nice, even strokes. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. And now, do I put the caster sugar in here? What do I put in? Yes, just some caster, the caster sugar. sugar. Yeah, and just turn it around so that it coats just all the sides. In. Like that? Yes, perfect. So this I'm is... Just, so I'm just getting it to get to the side. <laughs> oh, messing in this process. Fine. And then I can just throw it to the other one. Now, yes. the most phenomenal lady in your life is also a backstage in the studio. <laughs> yes. Who is that? My mum came to visit today. Oh, that's so special. <laughs> Lynn? 
Alex. She's sitting backstage. Just trying to get a camera on her. She's watching you. This is the first time she's come to see you on the show. Yes, she wants to see what happens behind the scenes. <laughs> okay, so now I've finished folding in everything. And this is ready. So this is the most, the trickiest part. It's just making sure that the air that you've whipped in there doesn't get broken or, okay. you know. So now we're just going to spoon this in here. And you can bake this straight away now. So you, and the ones we've got in the oven, can I take them out? Uh, let's see, yeah, they're coming out. Yeah, okay. let's go. I just Definitely. need a, a cloth grabbing, a cloth, yes. There we go. Because of course we're going to have to go to a, a There we go, perfect souffle. There we go, there's the perfect souffle. So if I'm brave enough to try it for live TV, you're brave enough to cook it at home. You see, if <laughs> I, I can almost do it, then you can do it. Shall I have a taste? Yes, please do. I know it's gonna be hot. Now, this is very nutritious and very easy to make. And I'm, I'm sure it's allowed on my diet because I'm training yeah, for it. Yeah, it's very light in calories. Yeah. And it's obviously it's not as rich as a normal dessert. So it's a nice way to end a meal. Mm, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Nice very, very nice. So something nutritious, light and easy to make. Also, if you're training for a multi-sport event or any type of event, it's an easy one to also put in your diet. But you know what? Ewan's got the answers on what you should be taking if you're training for any multi-sport event. Let's take